Hey, uh, my name is Sarah, and today we are now on book location number two. For those of you who don't know, I am currently on a book vacation. Our last stop was in London. Now we're just, you know, jumping over into Ireland, so you know that this book is based in Ireland. I probably should have picked a different book because today's book review is on The Call by, I, I think this is how you pronounce his name, Pedar M. O. Gillen. Pedar O. Gillen. I, 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 looked, I looked it up on his website, so I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I'm butchering it, but yeah. The Call. Not spoilers. Four out of five stars. Takes place in Ireland. I probably should have picked a different book again because this one, of course, has to do with the Fae. I don't know how you pronounce it though. The Sish? It's one of those fancy ones. Anyways, so, um, four out of five stars. Main character, Nessa. We find out that she, along with a bunch of ch kids that go to a survival college, must be called by the Fae, meaning that they get plucked from their world for three minutes. And in the Fae world, the Greyland, it's at 24 hours where they have to survive being hunted by the Fae and basically the world itself. So you know. Ugh. Oh my god, this is terrible like terrible and nightmarish terrible afraid for your life this is supposed to be a book vacation what am I doing I'm like <sighs> so um yeah this book uh, not just takes place with Nessa but also with the kids who get called as well so thus expanding the world that was pretty interesting and stuff. it's a short read as you can see but a short read of a panic a heart attack and so, um, I will admit, um, the writing was a little bit different, and so it took me a while to catch up to it, because it's like third person, but written in present tense. So that was a little different, a little, um, you know, different in a way. So it got me like a little, trying to figure out what was going on sometimes, but, uh, once you read a few pages into it, you'll finally be able to, you know, catch up with it yeah this is enabled as fantasy horror i'm pretty sure the cover explains that part of the genre so yeah it was scary as hell for like 300 and i believe one second 307 pages of hell and what happens at the end oh my lord and we gotta wait next year for the next book. Yeah. Those of you who like fairy, fairies, evil, creepy, manipulative fairies, here. If you like creepy, evil, manipulative fairies in Ireland, they're one of their home worlds, here. If you like the Hunger Games takes horror twist, here you go, the call. So, yeah. As we'll get into non spoilers. So, bye, non spoilers. Ooh. Spoilers. Okay, so, Pedar, if I'm pronouncing your name right, I tried to look it up on your website. Um, if someone with a very iconic creation that goes like this asks to direct this film into a film say yes say yes because this is almost like I think you pronounce it like this I am very bad at names right now I believe this is like um, Guillermo del Toro the guy who did Pan's Labyrinth imagine him directing the Hunger Games oy vey I would be afraid terrified to watch that movie if th the Man who did Pan's Labyrinth, Hellboy, Pacific Rim, Devil's Backbone, and uh, other iconic films with e creepy, evil, fae. 
and did Hunger Games style. Yeah, a lot of people will be paying for that film. So, let's continue. So, yes, uh, children between like the ages of 10 to 18, they're, you know, teenage years, they get called, meaning they get called into where the Fae have been trapped and first, thanks to a treaty, and yeah, this is their way of getting revenge. But apparently, we find out, oh, you know, the more the kids get called, the closer the worlds collide, and not good. So, um, Nessa. The reason that makes Nessa an interesting character is that she has polio, which means her legs are kind of twisted, so everyone believes she's going to die. Even the instructors are like, thinking they're showing p mercy and pity on her, and all that stuff, I'd be like, do not judge a book by its cover, people! I mean, this girl, she shaved her head, meaning the Fae won't be able to grab her hair. She has, like, the upper body strength of a pro champion, Olympic, five-time gold winner. And it's like, and she is, like, super smart and everything. She, she knows the language of the Fae inside and out and everything. It's like... Y'all are doubting her? Not to survive the call? Really? I'm putting my money on that horse. So, yes, apparently... Okay, so... Ireland is cut off by a giant mist. And no one can leave. And because everyone... All the kids are getting plucked and stuff from the Fae. They know the... They all, most of the time, speak the language of the Fae. But then they always mention, like, speaking Irish... Is that Gaelic? And then there's some that I speak English. Because you're like, you know, the tourists that got screwed over. Like, let's go to Ireland this summer. <laughs> so, yeah. We have some, apparently, foreigners teaching at this college school. Because they happen to be military. That helps. So, um, besides the Faye being the bad guys, we got this other kid named Connor who has like a god complex and totally into the Darwinism thing. I'm good with Darwinism, but you are a little cuckoo because he's got his round knights and they always go after who they believe is the weakest, Nessa. And they believe that the state for the future of the nation should not waste their resources on them and they are just hoping to get called. Yeah. And uh, we also get Anto, short for Anto, Anto, short for Anthony. Why didn't they just call him Anthony? Who is the, like the only pacifist in the entire school? And then we got Megan, who is Nessa's best friend. So those are like the four important people you should remember. The others they just get called, and oops. Um. So we, like I said, we get other characters that are called, and in a way, it's not really. As restricted to the kids that are Irish. I mean, we have a girl named Antoin Marie Antoinette. And she said her parents are like from, well, her parents are like from another country. So, you know, she gets plucked first in the call. And we see how insane these Fae are because they're just happy, clapping, laughing, dancing, you know, so while they're trying to kill you. Ugh! That is scary as hell. I mean, we're talking about beautiful, beautiful people with a psychopath tendency and insanity. And the dogs that they make. Okay. The people who try to flee uh, Ireland by plane, by boat, by whatever, they, they go poof. They disappear, go poof. And so the Fae, they create them and like their own image into their hunting animals, dogs. I can see why I say Del Toro should direct this, because he would have a field day with this. Ugh. And then we got the little, we got the, the, the beautiful fairies that we all see. Then we got the little people. And we got the dogs, and we got the weird plants that want to suck you up and everything. Like, this is a horror world that the humans trap the fae in. So, I kind of feel sad for the fae, for the, 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 um, I know this one, the tooth dead the nun. I think that's a pronounce it because I'm very familiar with that word. Thank you, Highlander. Um, so yeah, they have this s tornado, pits of fire, slug-ish water, a black oil, like the terrible 
worst world to live in. What makes it even worse? There are windows at the Fey Lagoon to the world that they they were ch they were chased off of because Ireland used to be theirs, but then the Irish came and tricked them into the street and they got banished and exiled into this world and these windows just torment them. I'm like, I know I'm supposed to feel f fury and everything for these Fey, but I'm like, especially when Megan gets called, I will get you that momentarily. So, um, this whole book, I was expecting Nessa to get called like Rob the Bat and be all about her, but it doesn't. She gets called close to the end when certain events happen. So, Marie Antoinette, I think she decides to kamikaze and go, goes into the mud when the Fae are promising to ahead of her. Then, um, we got Squeaky Emma. Bad luck. She gets called and this plug wrench a circle of Fae. They're all like, oh, look, the thief is here. They keep calling them the thief. <laughs> and uh, a fey princess just grabs her heart and just like, you know, pulls it out. Original style. Ugh. I'm going to be shuddering through this whole thing. And then we have members of um, Connor's Knights. I really care for them, so I'm just going to call them Knight 1, Knight 2, Knight 3, etc. Uh, night one, he jumps off a side of the cliff, thinking he's gonna escape, and the fae go, "Woo! I see you!" A kid, and he tries to save a girl, but apparently she's one of the creations of the fae man because half of her is missing. <laughs> and you know, they they they, they turn him into a doll creature thing. And they send him back because for three minutes in our world, when the three minutes go ding, you return alive, dead, or morphed. Night one returns, morphed, and he kills one of Night two by nah, 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 on his head. <laughs> huh. And then Anto and uh, Night three, who I can easily remember, his name is Chuck Wu, get called together. Because there's times when, you know, more than one person gets called at the same time. So, you know, they get chased to each other. And, uh, you know, Night three, aka Chuck Wu, when Anto's leaving, he decides to you know hold the ground. He's like, for freedom, goes out like that, and he gets returned all lit. But Anto, he met, he got smart. He in a window, the fade is like doo -doo 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 -doo, around him. But one of them knows is that his hair's not moving the right way, so they grab him, which you do not want because they twist your limbs. This is like a survivor guy, I'm telling. Either way, he returns alive. With like a giant morphed long hand. I know it's supposed to be like a hand and that's he was supposed to be turned into a giant. But I keep thinking of that character from Yona of the Dawn, the white dragon with his dragoned arm. I keep thinking of it like that, but I know it's not, but you know. That's why I imagine in my head, not with the dragon scales or anything, but like in that design kind of way. So yeah, and uh, let's see who else goes to hell. Um, Megan. So yeah, uh, Megan is Nessa's best friend and everything. She's got a mouth on her, and she gets called after she says she wants to kill at least one fairy, and then she's good with that. She says fairy as an insult in the English language. She manages to. Five a bit, but then she gets caught, and while she's underground, she tries. She carves like a message in her arm. This will be the events I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, the while she, the fair trying to dig her out, she starts screaming about her life in the human world. And when they finally pull her up just to get her to stop talking. You like they're crying. They're crying. I mean, okay, yeah, she's about to keep talking. They basically wipe her mouth out of existence, and she dies. But they are crying. And I know, like, one of the teachers, like, he has a military teachers and survivor teachers. One is Mr. Sean Hickey. And, um, he mentioned, like, saying that we pushed, the Irish pushed them off the land. And, uh, you know, if we want to, you know, I don't know, coexist, we gotta forgive or anything. But just seeing them, the fake, cry like that. Because they are deprived of the world that was once theirs. And they just get this terrible... 
these terrible windows that just hurts them in a way and then we have Megan just screaming at them what her life was like in the human world the land of many colors I'm just like I'm sorry I, I, I know I'm supposed to be afraid of this I am I'm afraid of these fades please Adam Black save me but um I, I, I really I real I have like a piece in my heart that feels sorry for them it's like it's one of those characters you should hate so much we can empathize with them you can like feel sorrow for them these are what the Fae are thank you for writing this book <laughs> I'm so sad so yeah um, some of the survival colleges have been going up in flames literally so like and we find out one dead fairy in a fairy mound I know not to circle around the three times again thank you Highlander and so a fairy stuck in there and they realize that the fae world is about to come into our world that's what Megan writes which leads up to defense at this uh, survival college the fae are coming we have traitors the fae conspirator people that work with them and apparently they are the survival this the veterans because one girl Milani who has like literally a hole in her uh, works with the fae so she can become whole again we have like, a, a short snippet of a soldier who wants to become fae so she betrays her people uh, I know it's not him but we have Professor Stein like these kids come up with interesting nicknames and they name a teacher Frankenstein so I'm like thinking oh, Professor Stein but not without that and he goes pop pops and it's a fae that's been wearing his skin all the time. So, yeah. And Connor, the little douchebag, the little son of a bitch, that we want to die. I want to kill so much because he is so arrogant. He makes a deal with Dagda. I, I know that's a um, high-leveled society fae name. I'm not very familiar with the way, the, 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 the hierarchy of the fae, but I know Dagda is one of the fae that you he, he's one of the kings I, I'm, I'm kind of positive about that I, I'm pretty sure Dagda's one of the kings and we see him and he makes a deal with Connor to become king of Ireland and allow his pe the fae people in to break the tree in exchange he wants to kill Nesta, Nessa because I think he loves slash hates her and so he comes back with weird limbs and everything so um, but yeah, they are trying to get rid of the treaty and doing something. Just gotta hand over Nessa to Connor, but they don't know that while they're killing and killing and people and burning the school down, Nessa being called. So if she comes back alive in the three minutes, she gonna burn. She gets on this world, they the face here, twist the legs, she might die but then she points out if I die nothing will happen everything you know you're you'll be liars they are known to be truth tellers you will be breaking a promise but a fae prince aka Dagda tricks her into getting her coming out making her fireproof and he's like oh thank you because you're alive we will complete our part of the bargain but um yeah uh Nessa lives and got shot all of those Doubters who believe Nessa would die. Oh, I'm here to collect my money. I win. Give me my money. Come on, come on, come on. Give Mama some sugar. So, um, she lives. She literally is fireproof, and she goes a little bit. <laughs> oh, and um, she tricks Connor, and they both jump into fire. The school is saved. Some of her friends find her with a skeleton. They tell her to keep quiet. Tell you a little bit on the testimony as to how survivors you know right about their tales in the Greyland. And yeah. That's a fireproof. We know the Fae are still getting ready to come because we still got some traders out there willing to work with them. We might have some more fairy mounds around. Uh, Anto with his giant claw thing can kill and everything. And yeah. It's about to go downhill from there. We're about to enter not just hell in the Greylands, but in the many color lands, aka Ireland, people. <sighs> so we met. Okay, that's as far as I'll get into spoilers. Um, we met Dagda, right? So, again, I'm not very familiar with the Celtic mythology on the 
Faye, but I know of um, the Morgan, not more from um, the Court of Thorns and Rose series, but the 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 got the crow, the the Morgan, because I read a little bit of Brooke and Horn, so I know about her. Um, if I were to be called, I'd be running around going, ha ha, parkour. They never taught that. They taught how to throw spears. They taught how to all all that. So where Connor we was going on gladiator and the fake, good for you. We had a lot of good runners and everything, but no one would knew how, no one did the parkour. That would be like a great way to survive. Just hear the fake chasing you, you see a cliff, da 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 jump parkour and land on some trees that might slice you, but you know, you make it ha parkour I could do this all day. <laughs> um, yeah, but if I was to go out in the Fey in the Greylands, uh, I would do their language, and I would trick them into making a promise, meaning they have to keep up with keep that promise. I'd say uh, basically, I want to die by Morgan. M Morgan. Yeah, I believe it's the Morgan. I always wanted to call her the Morgana, but it's Morgan, I think. I believe it's Morgan. Because that'd be interesting. She's like one of the oldest, most powerfulest fae in the world of the Tooth Dad Danan. And I was like, I would want to go out by her way. Sorry, Dad, Dad, you're not kidding me. I want to go out by the what the crow says. Please let us see her in the next book. Please introduce more of the old ones, please. So, yeah. Those of you who love Hunger Games, and those of you who like evil, sadistic fairies, those of you who like getting trapped on an island with no possible way of getting out. The call. What does it say? Uh, yeah, three minutes to save your life. Because three minutes here. Poof. But 24 hours in the ground. Del Toro, get your hands on these movie rights. Get your hands on these movie rights. I mean, you are the man to make this. I swear to God. Pedar, Pedar, don't say no to everyone until Del Toro gives you a call. Please. Please. So, yeah. We are out of London and now we are in, du we are in Ireland, people, on the spook vacation. Uh, so, yeah. Who knows where will my map will lead us next? This book review has been on the call by Pedar O. Gillen. Pedar O. Gillen. Don't hate me on how I pronounce this name, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, yeah. My name is Sarah, and bye!